welcome, welcome to my shop. Today, I have to find a home for all of these. I've got about uh, 16 of them. I need to find a place along my French cleat wall to hold them so that I have them off of my clean right now countertop, which is usually cluttered. So today, I'm gonna be making one with a dowel, a piece of 3 8 finished plywood, and some scrap offcut two by sixes. So follow me on this journey while we make a couple of uh, clamp holders. First off, I need to measure the height of the top of the cleat down to the bottom of the one, which I'm going to this the bottom of this cleat right here, just so there's even covered across my wall and looks like it is currently at seven inches and three quarters. So I gotta cut myself seven inches and three quarters off of that piece of plywood. I didn't plan this, but I got three cuts out of that one piece of board. just happen to be the exact same length. So I might be able to get three of them out of this and get more clamp storage. Now I need to measure the width, which appears to be around four inches if I give it a little bit of space on each side. I didn't have a third block already cut with that angle, so I made it, went ahead and made up another block out of some scrap wood I had. So now I have those three and those three. Marking in one inch from the end, scrapping a line down the back, and making a mark at inch and a half and four inch for the screw dowels. This is a 5 8 inch dowel. And I have a 5 8 inch Forstner bit on there. Two dowel plugs. Next we need to measure the height of those. And it looks like they come in right around two inches. Five and three eighths tall on the two by six. So that leaves me with two and a half inches approximately above that. So that'll give me just enough room. So this is four inches wide. So I'll mark right at two inches. Just to give me a line, make another mark down here also, just so I can connect the two lines. Just to make sure that I am centered and come down on that line. This line will be covered by the two by six. And then I'll come measure down from the top two inches to give me the top point of my two by six. The two by six itself, is an inch and a, just under an inch and a half wide. So if I take off three quarters of one side, which is right there, and three quarters of an inch off the other side, which is right there, that should give me my line right there to there for how wide the two by six needs to be and where it needs to go. Okay, now these holes I drilled are an inch and a half and four inches down from the top. So now I just need to transfer those marks from that down so that I know where to drill through for those. I need to draw a line straight down the middle of it. Just mark the line, the uh, the spots to drill through on the line itself from the top of the, the piece. Makes it easier to line it up. And 
Now, you normally you wouldn't want to drill in to end grain because the screw threads don't want to hold on, they want to just pull out. So that is where the dowel comes into play. So you want to pound it out so it's just a little proud of the surface. That, that plug is through. Nice and simple. Both holes are plugged. And I just got two more to make. All right, they're all flush cut down. Let's get to sanding. There they are, all smooth, ready for a little more fine sanding and a little router action, and then ready for assembly. All right, there they are, all ready to go, all done, sanded, chamfered, and there's the backer plates, ready to go, ready to add a little glue, put the backs on, and they'll be done. That's the top, that's the top. And as you can see, the screws are going down to the hole and into the plug. seam nice and tight with glue the screws are nice and sub flush just need to clean up that glue line and get the others done there they are all made up the only thing that's left to do is put a french cleat on the back right there. So I can mount it on the wall. There they are, all done. Let's put them on the wall and put some clamps on. There they are. And these just slide on alternating directions so they fit on nice and straight. Don't cock off to one side. Obviously, I only have those few on there, but I have another project where I have a bunch of them. And I plan on getting more.